Hakma, I am Lila. I know you want to destroy Ladybug, and so do I. The Butterfly Miraculous finally has a new wielder after five seasons, and there is no better heir to Monarch's throne than Lila. The writers of Miraculous Ladybug may have had Lila in mind for a future main antagonist since the beginning, as she began the series as a rival for Marinette and has since become a thorn in the sides of Ladybug and Cat Noir. In recreation, Lila obtains the Butterfly Miraculous from under Marinette's nose, and there's no doubt she'll use its power to create a new surge of akumatized villains, ones bigger and stronger than their predecessors. In today's video, we're acknowledging Lila's ascent into villainy by theorizing who she'll try to akumatize. You will lose your friends and wind up all alone, and Adrian will soon be mine. <laughs> Number 1. Chris A popular fan theory places Chris Laif as the right-hand man to Lila, and there's evidence in Season 3 to back it up in Time Tagger. An akumatized Chris appears in Paris from the future, with bunnicks on his heels due to his meddling in history. As Time Tagger, he nearly defeats Ladybug and Cat Noir with his ability to move people and objects anywhere he chooses throughout time. Hawk Moth becomes thrilled with how much the fight favors Time Tagger and prematurely celebrates his victory against the heroes. Time Tagger burst his bubble by announcing that there is a different Hawk Moth in the future, and that someone new uses the Butterfly Miraculous for evil purposes. After the finale of Season 5, we know Lila now has the Butterfly Miraculous and that she plans to use it. Much like Gabriel had Natalie to depend on, Lila may need help coordinating her plans, and she could find help in a child she babysits, someone who idolizes her and already has a history of negative emotions. In Time Tagger, the series foreshadows such a companion as Lila communicates and befriends the younger version of Chris. If Chris does become her partner, she will look to akumatize him to assist in defeating the heroes. Come on, Chris, it's a game for big kids. You know that. Oh, uh, that's what you always say. Number two, Miss Bustier. In the episode Confrontation, a scheme hatched by Marinette and Sabrina outs Lila for the lies she's told since season one. Her manipulation tactics fail, and Miss Bustier ensures Lila and Chloe are expelled from the school, putting a wrench in Lila's plans to control Marinette, Adrian, and their classmates. Then, in Revolution, Chloe loses her role as Paris's temporary mayor, something she succeeded at solely because she had Lila's voice in her ear, telling her what to say and do. Lila then loses a significant place of power and has to go into hiding to regroup. That's why when Miss Bustier becomes the new mayor in Recreation, she likely becomes a personal enemy for Lila. As the city's leader, her akumatization would give Lila a powerful ally in politics and her personal agenda. And now, let's give our support to your new class representatives, Lila and Chloe! Number 3. Tom and Sabine As Marinette's parents, Lila will target Tom and Sabine to exploit her longtime enemy's weaknesses. There are several ways their akumatizations could occur, but Lila will take the route that will cause the most suffering for Marinette. Tom and Sabine already have akumatized forms, but to revitalize the series, any re-akumatized people will likely have new villain appearances and powers. She has already attended Sabine's art classes, and because Lila has a reason for everything she does, it was undoubtedly to learn about Marinette's mother, including her personality and how she responds to stressful situations. Sabine has a strong sense of justice and hates when someone becomes unfairly accused, something that Lila has a history of doing to Marinette, framing her for theft and assault. While Tom takes the bakery and his family's well-being seriously, they are potential triggers for his akumatization. There's also a chance that Lila could try to akumatize them at the same time, as seen in episodes like Oblivio and Heart Hunter, when a couple shares an akumatized form. What's going on with him? Why is he acting weird? He's not acting weird. He's in love. Number 4. Alia of the many miraculous wielders active in Paris at the end of Season 5, Alia maintains an essential role as Marinette's confidant and the secondary wielder of the Ladybug Miraculous. In Centibubbler, Gabriel exploits Alia's importance by taking her family hostage, attempting to make her betray Ladybug to save them. Natalie and Gabriel also kept files on Alia and the other heroes, especially those who had their identities revealed in Miracle Queen. Lila manages to steal these files in Revelation, unknown to Marinette and Gabriel. Therefore, she knows that Alia uses the Fox Miraculous, that she is a close friend that Ladybug trusts, and potentially her role is Scarabella. If Lila wanted to exploit a potential weakness in the French superhero team, Alia could be the opening she is looking for. A specific cause for concern regarding Lila targeting Alia is that Alia failed to notice Lila's deception for seasons. The future reporter dedicated to finding the truth refused to believe Lila was up to no good, even when directly told by Marinette and Adrian. If Alia couldn't see the truth with the evidence right in front of her, she might not notice the trouble coming her way until it's too late. 
Marinette, Lila is a nice girl. Maybe you should give her a chance to prove it to you. Don't you want to exterminate Marinette for good? Number five, Kagami. Historically speaking, Kagami became akumatized five times, and Lila was the cause of three of them. In season five, Lila pretends to be Kagami's friend solely to exploit her insecurities. She convinces Kagami that Marinette isn't a true friend and that she's a liar in perfection and protection, respectively, showcasing that her manipulation tactics work surprisingly well on the other girl. Since Kagami has experienced akumatizations more than most recurring characters, she will likely become an easy target in the future. Kagami has a controlling mother, a new relationship, and fears about her merits as a friend going into season six. These three instances are potential things for Lila to exploit, which could lead to Kagami's sixth villain identity. Someone as amazing as you deserves a more considerate friend and I'd be honored to be that friend. Number six, Adrian. Lila has pursued Adrian since her first appearance in Volpina. What began as an innocent crush has progressed into a mutual rivalry, as Adrian confronted Lila about her devious behavior in Chameleon. Since then, he has stopped giving her the benefit of the doubt and calls out all of her behavior, if it's malicious or dangerous. Despite that, Lila continues to treat Adrian with a level of respect, likely in a bid to convince him of her innocence. However, Lila has a habit of making enemies with the people who wrong her. When Marinette refuses to fall for Lila's deceit, they begin a long rivalry, with Lila determined to ruin Marinette's life. Since Gabriel is gone, Lila can no longer exploit his influence. Without Gabriel around to make her relevant or to assist her fame, Lila doesn't need to maintain a positive relationship with Adrian. Much like Marinette, he will likely become the second target for Lila's revenge. He had a kitten until he found out he was allergic to it. The best part is, since you're such an excellent student, Adrian. Number seven, Marinette. So far, Marinette has managed to avoid akumatization for five seasons. With the Ladybug Miraculous, she has incredible luck, but the fifth season brought Marinette to her breaking point more than once. She was saved from akumatization thanks to her loved ones, like Tiki and Cat Noir looking out for her. Unfortunately, Lila knows how to isolate people from their loved ones. She almost succeeds in separating Marinette from her loved ones in multiple episodes. In Ladybug, she convinces Mr. Damocles to expel Marinette for cheating on an exam. In Adoration, she makes a plan that frames Marinette for theft. And in Confrontation, she makes it appear like Marinette jeopardizes their classmates' future careers. Marinette has indeed built a resistance to Lila's schemes, allowing most of her lies to pass by her without concern. In fact, after Confrontation, most of Miss Bustier's class knows that Lila isn't trustworthy. Unfortunately, Lila has many aliases to hide behind, including the villain identity she'll create with the Butterfly Miraculous. Marinette won't be able to withstand Lila's deception if it comes from akumatized villains, which would cause conflicts in Marinette's personal life. No one knows how to push Marinette's buttons like Lila, and season six may be when Ladybug finally meets her match. If Lila managed to akumatize Marinette, she would find herself with a powerful, intelligent, and capable villain on her side. The French superhero team may not stand a chance. I swore I'd make your life unbearable, Marinette. Let's see how you get out of this one. Gabriel may have used manipulation and deception to create problems for Ladybug and Cat Noir, but even he lost to Lila, being conned and outsmarted by her more than once. She was an adversary he didn't know he had, and in the sixth season, Lila will use those same capabilities to create frustrating and challenging problems for the heroes. It certainly speaks volumes that in the new season, it will take a team of nearly 20 heroes to thwart the attacks of a single supervillain. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Ow! 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 Ow!